as you know, Fish, in the G League, roster turnover is just a part of the game as Hardenstein goes back door to Markel Brown. Yeah, that's a designed play for three boards. Well, Hardenstein with an extra pass, and Brown finishes with two hands. Make the Vipers' thin bench work a little harder. See if it'll pay off later. Brown the lob, and Walker gently puts it home. Minutes. Sloan tries to feed Motley, but it's taken away by Richards. Up ahead to Markel Brown. And the Oklahoma State Cowboy hits from deep. Yeah, that's an unfortunate exchange. He's now 10 of 13 from the floor. Brown the lob, and Hartenstein with the finish. The layup in the Legends League goes back to nine. And that's a magnificent finish, but so key to it was the valuing of the ball. Markel Brown playing in just his second game with the Vipers. Deep three. And the Vipers within five. They have an 11 point edge. Under a minute in the, fir or in the third. Here's a three from Brown. His second three of the quarter. Markel Brown now with 19 points. Brown goes by Warney and he's able to finish. Hardenstein on the feed from Lewis. You know, and a lot of times you end up blaming the defensive big man, in that case, Warney. Sure might suggest, which is that this is a team that's very strong down low. Richards tries another three, and he hits another three. It's the pair, but he does break the Vipers' 10-0 run. Brown will rise from deep, and he continues his hot shooting night. They'll get a foul on him, and then you're going to come back in on offense. And they go right down low to Walker, who's able to curl it around Avila. Yeah. Sloan with the drive. Drops it to Avila, but it's stolen by Brown. Lewis beats Baldwin to the hoop. Put a big body on the end bouncer, but not Motley. He's got to be a rim protector. Brown guarded by Motley. The bucket and the foul, oh and that's six on Jonathan Motley.